Hi guys, in this video you're going to see me do a time lapse of how I fit this floor. So this floor is a luxury vinyl tile and it's fitted over ply board, 6mm ply. Um, i am put a time lapse together of this so I hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up because who doesn't love a fantastic Thumbs up, baby. There we go. So, setting up the camera, having a nice cup of tea, and I'm going to start with these floorboards. So, these floorboards were coming up. So, I think it was the there was pipes so that the plumber liked to leave them nice and loose which was lovely underneath the carpet because there was carpet there you can see the underlay and the grip is still on in places so I had to start with uh, making sure these boards are solid I found the nails that were in it originally and put them back in so that's all sorted now I start ripping up all the gripper and breaking it up and putting it in the middle of this underlay so I can row up the underlay and all the spiky gripper will be inside so I don't get all spiked up which is nice so now I'm back I'm going to uh, scrape all the floor so we're going to get the old staples from the underlay out and I'll give it a good sweep there we go now I'm measuring the width to see where the most economical way of doing this ply would be and I'm gonna start in this doorway and if you can notice that the actual ply is four foot by two foot they're the small widths normally we use them in bathrooms but we didn't have any of the big boards today plus it was a windy staircase outside so I just thought I used the smaller ones I mean I didn't have a choice so I'm laying on brickwork so it makes them stable and I'm trying to keep the end joints away from the sort of like the joints of the floorboards underneath as best I can and I'm laying them the the length ways is the opposite way of where the floorboards lay and I'm just marking pulling it all out marking where all the joints of the floorboards are because I don't want to staple down a joint of a floorboard because you hear creaks so that's why I moved them back out of the way and marked where all the joints of the floorboards were so I didn't staple down through it because it will, like I said, creak like mad. So you don't want that. It's time to go get the stapler. Oh, no, it's not. It's time for the charger for this camera because this camera is a pain in my bum. and It likes to run out of power. Let's clear the decks a bit. All right let's get the stapling on the go I wish it was that fast in real life so this is what we we call it a kajunga but it's a mallet stapler so you got to hit it with a mallet and then it pushes out the staples and you keep a hammer with you just in case you don't hit one all the way through and sometimes they jam up if you hit a screw or a nail what's in the floorboards underneath it can jam it and then you've got to sort of pull out the the jam staple and reload it and basically it's a bit of a pain but you get there in the end so now I've just adjusted the camera again because it liked to move because obviously the vibrations of the mallet make sure it's all perfect more staples the more staples the better 
you make sure that you pay close attention to the joints when you're stapling make sure the joints are stitched so you put a staple both sides in the same place like a like a stitch and it will pull it back down evenly and now I think it's time for either the feather finish because feather finish is Autodex or micro coat which is F balls micro coat so I've mixed up a big batch here and I'm going to do the whole floor don't know where I went oh, I went somewhere so I'm going to do the whole floor because if you just do the joints because these are smaller than 8 by 4 sheets if you just do the joints I mean there's no point because they're really small panels they're only like I said 8 by 4 sheets so I have to do two mixes here so it just makes it easier especially when you're sanding it down because otherwise you've got to sand down either side of the bit that you've feather finished um, here you just can sand down the, the whole bit of the floor but it's only the, the high bits or the little bits that you didn't get perfectly flat so it's it's much quicker especially with the sanding down to just do the whole floor if they were eight by four sheets I would just do the joints but because they were the smaller ones you got all the joints anyway so let's get a heat gun set up dry it off and we're gonna get my big blower I've got a big blue snail blower which I love and normally it's used for um, if you flood your house and you need a dehumidifier um, but yeah I've got one of those and this heat gun what I'm trying to do is make a bit of dryness in the middle so I can put the heat gun on it facing into the room I love feather finish because it just dries so nicely all right where's the snail fan come on get the snail fan on the go there it is it's coming there's his see so I've, I've made myself a nice little platform now which is dry and then I can put the snail fan on and give it a good blow give it a good blow all right let's cut a bit of this out shall we so this is after about 20 minutes this is half an hour now you can see me using the heat gun here now I shouldn't really be using the heat gun directly down because you're push basically you're pushing the moisture away which is you're pushing it down into the wood underneath you should have it on its side like it is and you're basically when the moisture comes up you're blowing it away but using a heat gun like that is okay as long as you put the fan on it to blow it away when it comes back up so the fans they're blowing away most of the moisture when it comes back up heat guns just helping finish it off now I'm going to give it a good sand over and make sure all the joints are perfectly flat any bits that I've missed with the stapler if I can see any ply moving I'll address that and I just basically make it as smooth and as good a platform to put the tiles on as I can so don't need the fan anymore and it's time to get serious with the sanding so we're going to use a nice big chunky piece customers asking what I'm doing and why is there a camera like they always do I say I'm filming have I got your permission to film and then they say of course you have and we'll watch your videos and we'll subscribe because you are amazing <laughs> so we'll give her a sweep get rid of all that lovely dust now I'm working out the measurements of these tiles so I've got some tiles in these are the tiles that are going down and I'm working out the multiples of the width of these tiles so I can work out where all the cuts are going to be on the widths. and that obviously you saw that straight edge 
so we've got a nice straight line and now I'm going to paste half the room because there was, it's only a small room I've got a hammer just in case I see any staples that I've missed and didn't catch with the Microco Evo or the feather finish and time for a bit of brew get a nice new blade and go grab some more tiles I'm going to give this glue a bit of time to go off because multi-purpose and if you put it in straight away after you put down multi-purpose adhesive it will slip slide everywhere move all over the place it just doesn't grab straight away I would have preferred to use a PS which is pressure sensitive adhesive because I could have probably, post, probably uh, pasted the whole room out as long as I had the line close to the door so I could set it up on that but I've done half the room and now I can start laying them down and I think it looks pretty cool so we try and stagger the joints as much as we can Oh, it's getting windy here. Alright, I've shut the door. And like I said, we get it as staggered as we can. We try not to get sort of like stairs in it. So you've got the same distance away from each other the whole way. Which is quite hard to do sometimes. Because what comes off, you want to put on the next one. Um, so because I'm in the middle now I've trapped myself with some tiles and I've glued the other half and that's going off while I finish the cuts on this side so the sides are going to go in now and this is the pipe She's under the camera. If you want to see better videos of how to cut this in nice and tight and my techniques, obviously subscribe. They're on this very channel. So now that side's all done. I'm going to start laying them off this side because the glue's gone enough for me to put it in. Get a little phone call. Always get phone calls when I'm filming, which is lovely. Oh, it even wet cut this doorway. Wet cut is basically you cutting it with glue down. And I think I messed it up. Yes, I did. But you never mess up. What you do is you make a template for the next one. <laughs> it's just a template if you mess it up. Go cutting around this little dog leggy bit in the room. And we're nearly finished. Just starting off one side. It's easy the other side because it's going into the doorway. So we always go against the wall and work towards the easy bit. Do the hard bit first. It's always a good rule in any floor laying is even carpets. If you can do the hardest bit the room first and then work to the easy bit you know it's going to get easier and easier the further you go along isn't it a little piece underneath the radiator some people use drills with um, a nice paddle drill bit to drill the circle out I think I've shown that on some of the videos but most of the time I just cut circles out um, people say they look like 20 pence pieces when they do it but 
as long as you get a nice curvature to it, it, it will be a circle. All right, I think the last bits on this job are to put the door bar in and refit the carpet and then get the customer and see what they think because we don't need to silicon this because this is fitted perfect nice and tight so what do you think about that I think it looks pretty good and that is a sped up way of the way I do it if you want to see the specifics go to my channel I've got everything here broken down into the easier sort of bite size chunks so you can see more in-depth ways of doing it hope you enjoyed this and if you stayed this long give us a thumbs up cheers bye